Hey everybody, it's Ashley and welcome to practice. So for today's 15 minute yoga session, you won't need any props, just you and your space to move in. So we're gonna start standing and make sure that you have some space if there's people around you that you can reach your arms out and you won't touch anybody. All right, so find a little bit of space for yourself. And then let's begin standing. Feet about hip width distance apart, maybe a little wider if that feels good, especially if you've been sitting all day or if you've been sitting for a long period of time. And then bring your hands on your hips. And then something very simple, just start to move your hips in a circle. So kind of like if you were hula hooping, just in slow motion. <laughs> Making some big circles. You can lift your toes, lift your heels as you go along. It doesn't have to look like anything specific. And then reverse your direction. So hula hoop the other way. Good, you've got it. Do two more this direction. And then next time you come back, Stand up nice and tall. Bring your feet a little closer together, right underneath your knees, right underneath your hips. And then stand tall. Hands can be on your hips or down by your side. And then see if you can soften your shoulders. Maybe you wiggle them out a little bit to get them a little softer. You can close your eyes or keep them open. And then reach the top of your head up towards the ceiling. Yeah. So get tall. Taller, tallest here. Take a big breath in. Open your mouth, sigh it out, make some noise. <sighs> Good, two more just like that. Big breath in. And sigh it out. <sighs> One more time, inhale. Exhale, breathe out. <sighs> Good. This time, inhale, circle, sweep the arms up and around until they come up and over your shoulders. Big inhale, come up onto your tippy toes. And then exhale, palms to heart center, ground your heels. So your heels come back down to the, the mat or the ground or the earth. Good. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, palms to heart center. Nice. So take your right foot. Come up onto your right toes and then allow your right knee to go out to the side. So it's gonna go out to the right, coming into a tree pose. Hands can come on your hips for some stability. And then just kind of tap your toes right there inside of your right foot meets your right ankle. So this is a really great place to be. So stay right here. Press through your left foot, get tall through your left leg. If you want a little more balance challenge, again, you don't have to take it, but if you wanna grab a hold of your right ankle and then kind of place it anywhere along your leg, if that's your thigh, if that's on lower down on your leg, on your calf, that's fine too, just right above your ankle. And then finding your balance, you may wiggle, you may wobble, it's part of the game. Just let it play out. <laughs> no judgment, have some fun with it. Hands on your hips, or if you wanna bring your arms out to a, the side, maybe to like a T that can help with balance, or maybe lift them up and overhead. So your choice, but if you fall out of your tree, that's okay. Ground yourself and then just get right back in it. But if you sway a little bit, that's cool too, because you know what? Trees sway in the breeze. Big inhale. On your exhale, gently release. You can use your right hand to kind of lift your foot off your leg and then step it back down. Good. Make those big circles with your hips again, just to kind of get out of your left hip. And then let's reverse the direction, okay? And reverse your direction the other way. Good, find some stillness, stand up tall. And then come up onto your left toes. Allow the left knee to swing out to the left. And then find your tree pose on this side. So your foot can kind of press into your ankle, press your ankle back into your foot. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog barking. Uh, <laughs> he's really talkative today, so I apologize if you can hear him in the background. But so press into your feet and your legs. 
And just like on the other side, if you want to grab your left ankle, bring it all the way up into your right thigh. Find your balance, your wiggles, your wobbles, it's okay. And balance is kind of here and there and everywhere. So some days it's there, some days it's a little harder to get there and that's okay. Staying up nice and tall. If you wanna bring your arms out to a T, kind of like you're on a tightrope and you're balancing, that maybe can help. Or arms up and overhead. Hands can always stay at your hips too. And just breathe here as you get a little taller in your tree, as you sway in the breeze. Take a big breath in. On your exhale, we're gonna release. You can use your left hand to bring your left foot off your leg and down to the mat. Good, inhale, arms reach up. On your exhale, palms to heart center. Good, step your feet out wide here. Good, nice and wide. So coming into a star pose, arms reach out, legs are wide, big breath in. On your exhale, warrior two to the top of your mat. So turn your right toes, sink down into your right knee, and then the arms are in that T-shaped position. Once again, hands can always be on your hips if your shoulders are kind of cranky today. Good, reach the hands out long, big, big inhale, big exhale. Inhale, arms come up, straighten your right leg, star pose just where we came from, and then warrior two to, into your left foot. So pivot the left toes out, sink down into your left knee. Good, breathing here. You can gaze out over your left fingertips if that's comfortable for your neck. Inhale and exhale. Good, star pose, arms come up. Good, get tall here, stretch out, press down through your feet. And then pivot the toes to face out in front and wide-legged forward fold. Hinge at your hips, fold all the way down. If you wanna kind of bend into one knee and the other, a little sway side to side, have some fun with it here. And then can you find some stillness? Just be still right here in the middle. And then click your heels in, toes go out, and then bend into your knees, coming into a goddess pose. So strong legs press through your feet and bring your shoulders up over your hips. You can bring the um, arms to the cactus or goal post arms. Finding your goddess pose here. If you wanna sway side to side, if that feels good in your hips, take that option too. If you wanna be still, be still. Take a big inhale and a deep exhale. See if you can sink a little lower. Good, press through the feet. Inhale, arms reach up, star pose. And then exhale, hands come onto your hips. Heel to your feet, closer together. Nice, and then gently have a seat. So once you're seated, knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor. Bring your hands back behind you and then cross your right ankle over your left knee. You can walk the hands out behind you as far as you need so it's comfortable. And then begin to just windshield wiper your legs side to side. If you find a sticky spot that feels kind of sticky, icky, maybe you pause and just kind of notice that feeling. And then just keep windshield wipering side to side. So it's kind of helpful if you've been seated, like we talked about at the beginning all day. Just getting into the hips in a gentle way. Good, switch. So right foot down, left ankle crosses over your right thigh. And then finding those windshield wipers side to side. Just like you're kind of watching the windshield wipers on a car. You wanna pause somewhere and stay, stay there. You wanna keep moving a little faster, a little slower than me, that's totally fine, totally cool. Just moving at your own pace. Keep pressing through your hands. Try not to dip down into your shoulders. Really lift up and out. So your chest is broad. Heart is shining forward. Good. 
and then gently uncross. Both feet come down, press through your feet, press through your hands and reverse your tabletop. So lift the hips up high. You can let your head go back, look up at the ceiling if that feels good. Press through your feet and you're here for three, for two, on one, gently release. Good, come into a butterfly position if that feels nice. So we're kind of getting into the hips today. So soles of the feet, bottoms of your feet together. Knees come out wide and then just kind of flap your wings. Flap your butterfly wings. And then getting into the hip joint a little bit. And then finding some stillness, sit up nice and tall, breathe in. On your exhale, breathe out, fold. Maybe bring your nose to your toes. Maybe you reach your nose out past your toes. Just reaching, reaching. And then inhale, lift up, bring your hands back behind you once again, and just kind of walk the hands out long, long, long back behind you. Just kind of like you're sitting on the beach, feeling the sun in your face, the wind in your hair. Take a few deep breaths here. So inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Two more times, inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Last one, big inhale through your nose, breathe in. Open your mouth, exhale, make a sound, ah. Nice, so walk the hands back in towards the body, sit up tall, crisscross your legs, so crisscross applesauce. Maybe close your eyes here. Maybe find a soft gaze in front of you if it's comfortable. And you're just here, my friends, breathing and feeling. You can gently open your eyes if they were closed. Thank you so much for joining me for this 15-minute uh, yoga session to kind of get into your hips, find some space for you, and I hope you feel better. All right, until we meet again, take care. Bye, guys. Mm-hmm.